Alrighty, quick demo of MetaTailor to Unreal integration. Uh, you can see we have a MetaHuman running around without any clothes on, and we want to change that. So let's go ahead and hop over to MetaTailor. I've already got a character here that uh, I've been working on very painstakingly. The uh, MetaHuman has been imported. I just don't have any textures on it because it's not necessary because we're going to be just exporting the clothes themselves. But one thing I did do is make sure to add some physics to this character. As you can see, I can pull this around, and I just gone ahead and manually painted some parameters using the paint blending here to make sure that it's clipped off by the belt. We might be able to automate that, but we shall see. Uh, but for now, uh, and if I play an animation, you can see it uh, running around just fine. Uh, for now, I'm going to go into export. And there's a few new options here. We have vertex colors and include proxies. I'm going to change vertex colors to simulation and red channel and check include proxies and uncheck avatar. So we just get the clothes. And I'm going to call this uh, my physics character and go ahead and just hit export. And let it go through and do its thing. As soon as it's done, it'll pop up with a Windows Explorer thing, hopefully. I'm pretty confident this is going to work, so to save on some video memory, I'm going to close out of MetaTailor here. And indeed, it popped up in on my other monitor. I'm going to go ahead and drag that into here and import it as soon as Unreal detects the file. Uh, here's the import options. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change the skeleton to the MetaHuman base skeleton and then just hit import. And it looks like it came over fine. I'm going to open it up in the skeletal mesh editor and you can see there's some white things clipping through and those are the proxy meshes. The only piece of clothing I applied physics to was the jacket. So first thing I'm going to do is hide the other things. So I'm going to disable those. And then if I isolate this one, you can see the only white now is on the jacket. Uh, this is what the proxy looks like. It's a single-sided thing that MetaTailor generated automatically. I'm going to go ahead and right-click that and create, uh, hit Create Clothing Data from Section and remove it from the mesh. Uh, but I do want to set, it, set the physics asset to the MetaHuman character's asset. So I'm going to select that there, the male medium, and go ahead and hit Create. Now the white is no longer clipping through because the section has been disabled as well, but in return, we've gotten some clothing. If that's not available, you can use other windows or tools menu to open up the clothing panel. Uh, now I'm gonna, going to right click the uh, non-proxy version of the jacket and hit apply clothing data and hit that. And you should see a little bit of jittering, but no physics quite yet. And that's because we haven't assigned any of the parameters or assigned them from uh, what was exported from MetaTailor. To do that, I'm going to select it and hit activate cloth paint. And it's all magenta, which means no weights have been assigned at all. But MetaTailor did bake in some, thanks to that option that we selected. Uh, for now, the max distance thing, we're just going to multiply the red channel by 100. That's a value that just works for now. Technically, what we exported is a different target entirely, but for now, this is a nice, quick, and easy way to get it working. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy, and you'll see that this lower section has now been colored in white, and this exactly matches what was in MetaTailor. Uh, I'm going to deactivate cloth paint, and you can see that that is now hanging. Uh, so I'm going to hit save on that to make sure the, the changes are committed. And uh, nothing will have changed in the scene yet uh, because I still need to apply it to my character. So I'm going to open up the uh, character with clothes blueprint that I've created. But you'll notice he doesn't have any clothes. So let's go ahead and change that. I'll add in a skeletal mesh. And call this clothes and just change it to the thing that I just imported. Hopefully it does appear somewhere. Skeletal mesh asset, it's not appearing for some reason. Why do you do this? So I'll use the uh, content thing instead. I'll open up the 
clothing here and drag and drop it. You guys can't see it, but trust me, it's there. There we go. I dragged and dropped it into the slot there. And now the character has clothes on it. And I'll hit compile. And because of the settings I have in the third person asset, that should be all that I need to get it working. So now if I hit play, we now have cloth physics on the character and we can run around and have all sorts of fun with these cloth physics.